Hello, my name is uh, Chris Reed, and this uh, video is on, on uh, solving the aunt and uncle's fuel uh, dipstick problem. And I would start with trying to figure out the volume of in, in being a function of H. So you get volume, yeah, yeah, volume of H, and take the ratio of that to the total volume of the tank, which would be pi big R squared times big H. You know, I'll just link to this. We'll just call link over here, big H right here. Okay. And you start with taking the volume of this little slab, you know, like a calculus. You just want to pick out the volume of that. That would be, well, and you got your little X's right here, the distance from here. That's going to be 2, um, 2X two times big H and delta Y. That's the, um, the volume of this little slab. And it turns out to get the value of x being a function of y, you come, we start with the equation of that circle with centered at zero r, um, zero r x, x squared plus y minus big R quantity squared, and that's equal to big R squared. And now we can say x equals to square root of big R squared minus y minus r quantity squared. Yeah. And now we could just figure out the volume, the total volume that's of the in a function of h, we could say volume h does equal to integral from 0 to h of, now you got 2 big h times the square root of r squared minus y minus r quantity squared, and then dy. Okay, for the short video, I'm not going to get into how to evaluate this integral because that could be you know, to another topic. I'll do some more YouTube videos on this. But I just want to answer this question briefly. So it turns out I do get an equation that gives you the being a function of R. Or actually a function of H, excuse me. So we could say V of H does equal to, you know, H R squared times, it's kind of a rather long equation, pi over 2 plus the inverse sine of H minus R, you know, big R over R. And then plus h minus big R times the square root of R squared minus, and you got h minus big R quantity squared, and this whole thing is over, you know, R squared. Okay. The key is we want to take the ratio of V of H as to the total volume, which is P of big R squared H. And it turns out that these would cancel out. So you could actually normalize the curve. So you would end up with this. You know, actually the pi's would cancel out. And so you just get one half plus one over pi times the inverse side. And then plug in your numbers will be h minus um, five over five plus h minus um, five times the square root of 25 minus h minus five quantity squared over 25 pi and then if you were to graph this you could actually normalize it and then the kind of curve kind of will look somewhat like this all the way up to 10 right here and you got your 50 uh, you know this would be 50 percent mark and the curve would kind of look something like this well actually you know excuse me sorry about that and there's going to be yeah actually the curve will something like that's five. Oh, excuse me. That is five, and you get ah, sorry. You got ten over here and five, and you get this is fifty percent, and this is you know just one. So the curve would kind of something like this, and the curve would go like this, and you you would just kind of pick your points at ten percent increments up here in between like that yeah yeah and just kind of increment right here and i would just do a use a graphing calculator to figure out your markings where you can put on your dipstick you know you just take a percentage of your volume and you go in relationship to how how many feet as you go down so that's just uh, my tip on how to do this problem so thanks for watching this video and give me some comments and if you have any questions, feel free to ask.